this unit, unit eight, is acid base, or often it's called acid base equilibrium. So it adds to, or it kind of uses some of the things we did in our reaction units, um, but it also brings in many of the big ideas from the equilibrium unit. The nice thing when we think about it in terms of acid base equilibrium is that often the rice tables and the K expressions are actually a little bit more simple or predictable. But it's really important that we have a strong basis of the definitions of acids and bases to be able to know when and how to use them in those K expressions. So initially, acids and bases were just understood in terms of their properties. There was chemicals that did certain things and other chemicals that did um, something very different or sometimes even the opposite of those. So we've got many of those properties here that connect back with things we've seen before with reactions, with um, strong and weak electrolytes. You don't have to have all of these characteristics memorized. It's just good to be familiar with them as we're thinking about what we already know or knew about acids and bases. But what we really need to have a strong grasp on is what defines something as an acid or what defines something as a base. And the first definition of that was by Arrhenius. So an Arrhenius acid is one that produces hydrogen ion in solution. Um, and a hydrogen ion obviously is the H plus, but that individual H plus is just a, a proton floating around. And when we have that in water, it is often very attracted to the lone pairs on the oxygens of our water molecule. So that individual hydrogen doesn't float around by itself. It bonds to that and turns into this molecule, which we call hydronium. Those two terms are used totally interchangeably. In reality, in the water, it's an H3O plus, but it acts as if and travels as if. And um, in terms of calculations and the way we represent it is the same as just thinking about an H plus that is broken free or an H plus that is floating around. So an acid makes that H plus. And many acids start with the H in their formula, or some organic acids we'll see have that H at the very end, where it might end as COOH or CO2H in the chemical formula. An Arrhenius base is a substance that produces hydroxide. So this would be a lot of our metals just bonded to the hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, um, lead hydroxide. They ionize, they dissociate either completely or partially, depending on solubility, and they make that hydroxide. So that's the simplest definition, but really it's not the main definition we use. That's the one we kind of think about with pH, but we're going to extend that as we get into the Bronsted-Lowry definition.